Why do some people think that having healthy boundaries seems controlling? Why do you feel like giving somebody an opinion about what is or is not something that you're in the mood for, or what may or may not be something that you're ready to do or willing to do, why is that controlling? Think about it. Say, for instance, you have a person that loves to eat at 9 p.m. at night. They just love to. So in the person you're in a relationship with, they like to eat at 9 p.m. or after for dinner and say it gives you horrible heartburn, right? So you don't like eating, say you prefer to eat after, um, before seven, just for fun, but this will help you get the point, this will help us get the point across. If you're, the person you're with loves eating after nine and you really prefer for the sake of heartburn, which is really taking care of yourself, you prefer to eat before 7 p.m., think about this. Instead of saying yes, because even though you really don't want to, and you're scared or fearful that by saying the word yes, you are now going to either chase the person away or you're gonna insult them, or for some reason you're gonna lose them, or they're somehow going to give you an ugly opinion. Um, why can't you just say something like, you know what, I know you love eating after nine and I can appreciate that, but really to be honest, I just can't do it. My body hates when I do that. So how about if I eat something beforehand and then I'll go out with you and I'm happy to have, you know, nibble on something little, but please feel free to eat dinner. I'm 100% okay with that. See, isn't that easy? And that way you got your way, but also he got his way. I'm trying to think of another one that might be a great example, but while I'm thinking about it, let's talk about this a few minutes. It's not an either or. It's not a must be or, you know, one way or the other. It's not one person wins or the other person wins. It truly is a compromise. But when I say compromise, that doesn't mean you're compromising you. It means you have to find a way to make it happen so both people get their way. Um, let's say vacuuming is an issue. Okay, we have a hard time vacuuming. Nobody vacuums in the house. It's really, really killing us. And, you know, I get mad when I come home and the house has got such dirty floors and he gets mad when he comes home and he's worked all day and he doesn't like having dirty floors. All right. Does that mean now you succumb to being the only one that vacuums when you come home tired from work? Or does this mean that you could say, look, honey, I know that we both really, for some reason, have a real need to have the carpet cleaned and the floor cleaned for us to feel good when we're in our home space. How about if you vacuum every Tuesday and Friday and I'll vacuum every Sunday and Wednesday? See, that kind of helps. Or here's another one. You know, honey, why don't we just go out and invest in one of those vacuums that kind of like go around and you see on Facebook all the time they have a cat on it or something and it's like one of those Roombas or one of those um, robot vacuums. Why don't we do something like that because that way neither one of us has to vacuum and that way we both are 100% okay with coming home and we will, sorry I have something in my eye, ah. And that way we're 100% okay that um, neither one of us has to vacuum. We'll do one deep cleaning vacuum on Sunday and we'll rotate that every other month. See, that could work as well. So there are things that you can do to compromise that does not mean you are compromising yourself. Gosh, it means, I'm not emotional about this, I promise. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got something in my eye and I don't wanna stop it. So anyway, compromising truly means how do you both win? It doesn't mean how does one win and how does one lose. I promise you. So let's think about boundaries. Is it really about taking care of yourself and making sure that who you are does not get compromised? Is it okay that you don't want to eat after 7 p.m. because otherwise it gives you wicked heartburn? I mean, if you were to think about it, the argument could go down and say, well, you always want to eat after 9 p.m. and you know I can't stand it, but you still go and do it anyway. And he'll say, well, you never want to eat when I want to because it really upsets me because I don't like eating until it's after 9 o'clock. You know I like eating later because I need to come home and rest when I get home from my late night at work. 
See, now it became an either or and it became kind of like a power issue. Rather, why can't you both win? Which should be in your mind at all times. How do you both win? Or how do you find a way to make it so you both feel like you're getting your way when really it's not an either or? It's how do we make this work? So instead of the either ors and feeling like you're controlling, why don't you continue to maybe suggest, I suggest that you think, how do we make this work that we both get our way? It's really quite a simple formula. I do have a quite a simple formula. I love helping people with this type of communication, but truly boundaries is a healthy thing. You're supposed to have boundaries. You're supposed to have boundaries. Um, they should be about knee high in any relationship. You should never have no boundaries. I don't care what anybody says. You need to have them because you are an individual and you're different. We all are. We are entitled to have some things that we simply don't like to do or don't need to do or prefer to not do. Here's one for instance. Say that one person in the relationship is an exercise freak, but the other person doesn't want to exercise at all. Their job is strenuous. For some reason they just don't want to exercise. Whatever the reason is, guess what? They don't have to and you should not be making them or losing respect because they don't want to. Again, they're an individual person. So if one person in the relationship really is an exercise freak and they love it, that's well and fine. And the other person that doesn't want to exercise should be all for it, promote it, and be really, really encouraging. That's just great. But the person that doesn't want to exercise should not be hounded, cut down, have little undertones of, you know, well, you wouldn't feel that way. You'd be able to take this walk if you exercised. All those kind of digs and comments shouldn't really be going on. Instead, you should be yourself and please, if you're the exercise freak, go out and make it happen and more power to you and make yourself happy with that. Then the other person that doesn't want to exercise, they should be supportive as well that you want to be the exercise person and that you want to go out and do it. Sometimes leading by an example and going out and doing it and enjoying it will really, really possibly make the other person think, huh? Maybe I should go out and do that soon, but you want them by your silence and by example, not by hounding them. Now, if it doesn't work out that way, and by the way, you shouldn't go out and do it with the, in, with the intent of manipulating that person to go out and exercise. That shouldn't be your goal. Your goal should be, I need to exercise because I love to, I'm a relation, I'm a, I'm an exercise person. I need to go out and exercise. Then go do it. But yet the other person that's not exercising, they should figure out what they want to do for themselves, whether it be reading or whatever, and they shouldn't be making you feel guilty that you want to do, you want to go out and do that. So see, there's many ways again to make a relationship happy, which brings honest intimacy, and it does work. Again, if you like this video, please share it. If you know somebody that really needs to see something like this, please tag them on this. Please make a comment below. Please like this video. Join me anytime on this Hair Chair Confessions Facebook, and I really appreciate you and your comments, and I really appreciate you listening. I hope that this helps you. Look forward to seeing you again. I'm gonna make some more videos. We'll just keep on trudging away because I really want to see you change your relationship for the better. You can have a lovely and honest relationship. You just have to find your way there. See you soon. Hope you have a wonderful day and consider your boundaries today. Talk to you soon, bye.